Hey guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Invoice Ninja. And it is a self-hosted invoicing platform for small businesses. And once we've hosted it, it will look like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go into Coolify. Let's click add a new project. We're going to call it Invoice Ninja. Select the production environment hit add a new resource and then search for invoice ninja and then select your server we are almost done I'm just going to shorten the domain name call it invoice ninja dot self was everything dot com hit save and then hit deploy so now our container has started I'm gonna close the window and wait for it to say healthy here and just a note I went ahead and hit deploy but if you were hosting it for real you probably want to change the email and password here as this is the email and password that we're going to use to sign into the instance so let's go ahead and visit the URL since the container is healthy right now so right here we're gonna enter in the email address that's present here and same thing for the password Apple is trying to suggest me a password. I'm just going to ignore that and hit login. And so now give your company a name and you can choose your currency and language. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And so now we are done. We are now in the app as well. The interface is fairly straightforward. It pretty much starts from the top and all the way to the bottom. So you want to start by adding clients and then adding products and then adding invoices and so on so just to give you a short demo I would add a client let's say Best Buy for instance I'm not gonna add all the other stuff but I will add like a user let's say let's say his name is John Doe John at example.com I'm gonna hit save so with that client we can go ahead in our products probably want to add a product as well let's say a table which is worth 199 and then we can create an invoice so you hit new invoice select the client and then you want to add a product in here this is where I got a little bit lost um, because it's not pulling in the product that I just added earlier I'm not sure why but anyways um, I do like the fact that it gives you the option to create the product immediately here. And uh, other than that, uh, we're going to end the, the video here because we've already self-hosted it. And just my personal opinion now with uh, this app, I do like it. However, it is lacking integrations. So everything is manual. Let's say you have had payments that have occurred. So you've sent your invoices and somebody's paid you back. You also have to manually add those payments. And also, as you can see here, it's loading. This is something I found. It's um, quite laggy as well. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's my server or if it's the app itself. So if you go ahead and try it, um, please do comment in the comment section whether or not you do get the same issue. So coupled with the fact that it is slow and um, although that could be due to other factors, and the fact that it's lacking integrations it's not something that I would personally use but having said that I do see how this is a valid use case for a small business that doesn't necessarily have that many products or invoices to send out maybe you have a consistent client that you send out the same invoice every month that sort of thing so with that that's going to be the end of this video and I will see you in the next one